In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create this nice overlapping stack bar chart. You can see here we have a stack bar chart and then we overlap with a bar on top. So let's start to explore how to do this. So let's start to look how we can overlap a bar on top of the stack bar in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need is of course get our default code which you can find in Chart.js.com and then here this entire link getting started. You can find it also in the description box by the way. Copy this entire text here or this code. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this video here. It explains it all. I'm going to paste that in there. And once I did that, I'm going to cut out this. And then what I will do is I'll just paste that in here. Save it. Refresh. There we are. So now we have a bar. And what I want to do now is I want to create a few more data sets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this entire data set here, comma, we'll copy and then comma paste comma paste comma paste so we have four items so what i will do is i'll just get this and i'll get the, that's the fourth color which is the green one and we'll just call this the green sales i'll make them them including the background color a solid color so it will be green sales next one here this is the yellow border color so i'm going to grab that paste that in there and we'll say here the yellow sales and then the third one will be the blue sales. Blue sales. And finally for the red one, this is the red one here, but they will not have a blue, uh, it's not considered a sale. We can just say here something else because this will be independent from each other. So let's say here quantity, uh, quantity red. All right. If I save this now, refresh, we have now these four beautiful bars here. All right, so what we're going to do now is basically what we have to do now is to indicate which one will be stacked or not. So I want to say you first of all, for on the y axis or on the x axis, they'll say you're stacked. And we say this here will be true. Then we put a comma here, save. And what we can do here is the following for the x axis, I will say this will be stacked as well. And that is true. If I save this now, refresh, now they're all stacked. But what I want to do now, the red one was basically something else compared to the others. So I want to grab the red one and put the red one, overlap that all on top of the others. So how do we do this? Well, first of all, we need to make sure that the red one is clear in what they need to do. And what I mean by that is, or at least where it's not connected with. So let's say it's not connected with this Y axis. We'll make that separate here, and we call this, for example, our, uh, I guess, uh, I guess here we should have your main percentage. It's probably a more logical item. And then we say here is the following. We're going to say here the y axis index, or ID, sorry, will be equal to what percentage? So that will be now an object name. While the others we don't specify. If we don't specify the y axis ID, will be equal to the y value here. That's the default. So because we now have created a new object and our object is called percentage, which is also a new scale. So we're going to say here or new axis. So we're going to say here the percentage axis. And this percentage axis, we will also say here, for example, begin at zero. That's acceptable. But this one is not stacked. And we're going to say here position we can put this to the right so they will not have too much on the left side comma and then we're going to say here type will be equal to linear so now we save this and then refresh all right so let's open up the developer tab what do we get unexpected identify on number 60. so let's go back to 60. you can see here i forgot a comma save that one we need a comma here refresh now this works however you can see they're right now overlapping and it's not visible. So we have to do some uh, work here. I guess these values are very acceptable. And then we have this one here. What I want to do here, especially the grid lines need to be solved. But here also we need to, uh, I would say, change the percentage of the, the bar percentage. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, in this one here, comma, and we say here, bar percentage. And let's say the bar percentage will be 0 0.5. If I save this now and refresh, you can see here now it starts to overlap nicely. So that works. And you can see here the hoovering works. But now let's clear up the uh, 
basically the lines here. So what we're going to do here is the following. I'm going to say here in the percentage, and then we're going to see a grid. And we say a grid display equals false. Save that. Refresh. And there we are. So now we have this here. So let me explain one more thing, because this can be a case as well that you experience. For example, you put this item not here up, but here down. So let's move that all to the bottom here. And then we save this, and then refresh, and then we get it's now, instead of being overlapping on top, it is at the very back. And the bars here, or this uh, stack bar, is now on top. So what we can do with this to control the order is the following. We're going to put in here comma, and then we say here order, which means the highest priority based on the lowest value. The lowest value is what's, what's considered the, to be on the very top. And everything that is higher will be behind the next value. So if you say order, not one, just think about it like uh, Olympic Games where you have the gold, silver, and uh, bronze medal. So this one gets the gold medal, which is always on top. So what I want to do here is for all the others, I'm going to give them a silver medal. So order number two. Order number two. Order number two. Save that and refresh. And you can see here now what we have done now is give the red bar always the very top uh, position while the stack bars are at the back and this is basically how you can create your stack bar with a overlapping bar on top so if you like this video and maybe you want to even build on this for example you want to put labels at the side here everywhere i have another video that explains exactly how to add scale title in charts which is a very useful one where you can put in different titles on here on every side of your scale here.